Okay, so this video is in response to mammies who basically assume that the only reason one could not be into black men is because of a behavior that black men have as a whole simply because they're black men, which is so weird. You mean to tell me that black people, black women, black men, white men, or whoever else have certain behaviors that they all do? That's one thing I don't agree with, you know? I don't think that anyone has characteristics or behaviors specific to their race. Their race and their gender, well, their race, you know, it's just skin deep, you know? I'm not divested because of what a black man has done or not done. That's just not me. I mean, if that was the case, then a lot of my dating history wouldn't exist. But that's a whole nother story. Um, you guys always talk about dust. This is why when we talk about swirlers, you think that means a swirler is open to dating um, black men. Because you think that black men... If black men, if you don't have standards, basically, then you'll be open to black men. This is because you assume everyone's attracted to black men. Why do you assume that? Because you are heavily attracted to black men. So you assume everyone else is, which is weird. It's like, how many black men are in America? There's Black men are a minority. So, I mean, like, why would you expect people to be attracted to black men when they're not the majority. Most of men in our society are white and some are Hispanic, which is the main reason for me why I'm attracted to white men and Hispanic men. To me, black men look feminine. And I don't mean that in a way of you're not a provider, you go, you're um, absent fathers, or um, you're not a good husband or whatever else they say. Um, I don't really think that. I think black men could probably be good providers and all that stuff. I wouldn't know. I don't care, really, honestly, because I've never even given a black man a chance like that. I'm not attracted to them, personally. My mother's a dark-skinned black woman, and to me, that's the epitome of femininity. I don't know why this is, but black men, for some reason, have the same face as black women do. So for me, it's like, why would you ever expect me to be attracted to someone who looks exactly like my mother? Mm -hmm. Like, you guys never really think of the whole idea of what if someone just isn't attracted to black men? Nothing hateful towards them, nothing against them, you know? But instead, you always impose your own problem, being hurt as a form of being divested. Being divested is not about being hurt. It's not about, oh, I dated black men and now I'm dating white men as uh, because I'm angry at black men or something. That's not real. You know, you, that's not your real preference. Your real preference is what you initially did because you preferred black men. And that's your preference. That's nothing wrong with it. But being open and honest about what you like will save you some time instead of dating people just to get back at other people or because you're angry at someone, you know. So to me, it's just like, you know, when people assume that I'm attracted to black men, it's weird to me because it's like I've never looked at a black man in any way of any possible idea of a sexual thought towards them. To me, they look like females, like honest females, okay, and I, I can't find that attractive, you know, some people find dark-skinned black men attractive, and that's great for them, you know, but as a divestor, that's not my preference, you know, and that's it, you know, it's not, it's not from hate, it's not like I think they're bad partners, they're bad partner for me because I could never be intimate with them. But for somebody who actually likes black men who are dark skinned, I mean, maybe they're a good option for them. I wouldn't know. I don't care. And I've never tested it because why would I test something I'm never going to want, you know? So please do not pretend to know what I am when all you're exposing about yourself is being hurt and not really understanding what you should actually be honestly doing about it, and that's healing, you know? Healing through therapy, 
healing by taking a step back, you know, not trying to just go after black men and hate them, but actually realize how it's affected you and how to improve and heal from your hurt, basically. So that's just my opinion on that, you know. I think people like this, they're too blind to see what, how negative they are on black men that they can't even make the right decision in who they actually like. They don't even understand who they actually like because they're so focused on saying that hate has driven you to be interested in whatever race you're interested in. So that's all I have to say in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to be done. Bye.